Joining us exclusively from Philadelphia is Pennsylvania Governor and former Democratic National Committee Chairman Ed Rendell, and in Columbus, Indiana, Congressman Mike Pence, Chairman of the House Republican Conference. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning, Harry. So, when all is said and done, 24 hours from now, the most important lesson in this election for Republicans will be what, Mike Pence? Well, I think the most important lesson of this election is that uh, the American people are still in charge. I think after years of uh, runaway federal spending, frankly, by both political parties, borrowing, deficits, bailouts, and, and takeovers, uh, today, as of a little bit over an hour ago, starting here in, in Indiana, uh, the American people are going to reassert themselves <laughs> into the political process. Uh, and I think uh, remind the political class in Washington, D.C. that they're in charge. I really do believe that we're on the verge of a real American renewal. It's going to be whatever happens tonight is going to be a victory uh, for the American people more than any particular political party. Ed Rendell, most important lesson for the Democrats 24 hours from now? Well, I think uh, the most important lesson for us is we, we've got to learn to explain and communicate what we've done and what we want to do a lot more clearly and a lot better than we have. But I, I think Mike is right to an extent, Harry. I think the big lesson for both parties is I think the American people want them to forget about politics and forget about partisanship and for the next year call a timeout from all this bull and try to get real things accomplished for the country. Country's got real problems and they want real answers and mm. not politics. Congressman, it's interesting because where there's emotion, where there is promise, where there is expectation. People remember this from two years ago. If there is not uh, performance on the end of that, then there will be change again down the road. How do you fulfill the promise? Well, well, let me say, I think, you know, I, I think uh, that emotion, though, is largely driven by the fact that the people are scared. I mean, mm -hmm. I, think, I think they look at a second year in a row of more than a trillion dollar deficit. They look at an era of bailouts and and a, a government takeover of health care. And I, I don't think, the one thing I, I, I differ with Governor Rendell a bit about, I don't, I, don't think, I don't think today is going to be about the American people saying they want Washington to get more done. I think there's a lot they want to get undone in Washington, D.C. I think there's a lot of change in direction uh, back to fiscal responsibility, personal responsibility, basically demanding that we have a government in Washington, D.C. that reflects the character and the decency and the sacrifice uh, and the very nature of the American people mm -hmm. more than it has in recent years. Ed Rendell, did the Democrats fail to fulfill expectations over the last two years? Well, I think expectations were unreasonably high for Barack Obama. He took over the presidency, Harry, facing the worst set of problems, not of his own making, that any American president has faced in the last 50 years. The problems were created by really failed policies over the previous eight years, and he can't turn them around automatically. 750,000 jobs were being lost per month when he took over. Last year, we get, last month, we gained 60,000 private sector jobs. That's a pretty good turnaround when you look at it in those terms. Uh, last but not least, if this election is about some of the things you suggested, uh, Governor Rendell, and some of the things you suggested, Mike Pence, if it really ends up about, about being about the economy and job creation, is there a way that these parties work together at the end of the day to help make those things happen? Let me start with you, Mike Pence. Well, well, first, let me say um, that, you know, this is not over. Uh, anyone within the sound of my voice this morning who uh, has heard about the positive back, the tailwind that Republicans have behind them to just banish that from their mind, they should get out and vote as many people here at the Columbus airport have already done. Uh, they should stay at their polling place and greet their neighbors. If they're tired of the borrowing, the spending, the bailouts, the takeovers, if they're tired of the failed economic policies that, but that believe that we can spend our way and take over our way back into prosperity, right. they need to not only vote today, get their neighbors to vote, uh, but also stay at the polling place and encourage their neighbors. And, and right after that, you bet, we're going to roll our sleeves up and work with everyone, uh -huh. uh, including uh, my friend uh, Governor Rendell, who's willing to to rein in federal spending and let the American uh, people keep more of what they and, earn. And, Governor, I've got 20 seconds for your last pitch. Well, I think we should. An uh, let me answer the question. First of all, we should look at things that do produce jobs, like investing more money in our nation's infrastructure. Hundreds of thousands of well-paying jobs, Harry, on construction sites and back at American factories. We've got to do something for American manufacturing. But most of all, 
we got to start doing it together and end all of this bull. Mm. Ed Rendell, Mike Pence, thank you, gentlemen, very much for your time this morning. Do appreciate it.